uh, there's my surface. I want to create the other surfaces um, from my egg crate. So I'll go under surface and um, do plane corner to corner. And I want to make um, my surface a little bit um, smaller than my the surface that is is cutting it so that it makes sure that it's completely intersected. So um, I'll go down here and I'll do it a little bit below the the bottom of the surface so I have enough down there to um, stand it for it to stand on although I don't need that much so I'll just do like a quarter of an inch um, like that so you can see up here in my perspective um, it gave me a surface um, and to make this a little bit easier on me instead of um, offsetting all those curves like we did last time I will offset this surface and then so if I go to offset type in off and offset comes up hit return uh, that offset command was offset uh, Curve. I need that. I needed the offset surf, off, offset surface command. So go back, select my surface, hit return. See those arrows that pop up there? Those arrows are telling me the which is the front and back of my surface. They're called normals, and they um, point. They point perpendicular to um, the surface at that particular um, point. So what that means is when I offset it, it's going to go in that direction, which is the direction I want it to go. And I'll put in my value. And I've measured the um, value. You can We have two choices, um, and that's the black map board, which is 0 0.05, or the two-ply chip, which is 0 0.08. Um, and I'll do the map board. So I'm at 0 0.05. I hit return and you can see it offset that surface. So now I have two surfaces. Um, just to make my life easy, I will select both of them by clicking and dragging from right to left. And I'm going to go down here and hit the join button, I mean the group button, and group those together. Now when I select one, they are both selected. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to move this. I'm not going to do this whole surface just in for time. I'll maybe do, um, you know, part of it. And so now that I have that in a position where I want to start my egg crating, I will array it. And array, I'll type in array, hit return. It's asking me for the number in the x direction, which is this way. Yeah, we'll do five. And I'm going to say um, we want one in the Y, which is the one we have. We want one in the Z, which is the one we have. And then the spacing, I'll do a half inch. And that um, gives us our um, surfaces that we can egg create. You know, you are going to probably want to do more than than that, do more of, of your surface, but just in the interest of time, um, we will do this. And then uh, let's adjust these surfaces. Oh, I have to hit return to finish um, so that we have something that's a little more. So now my the spacing isn't as regular. Uh, all right, so that's um, the surfaces in one d direction. Now we want to do the same in the other. And um, so I'm going to do that again, surface corner to corner. Uh, select that again, offset it. But remember, I want the offset surface. Uh, here, my normals are going the opposite way I want them. They're pointing 
that out so I can go over here and I can flip all which is going to point um, my direct my surfaces in or change the front so that it's going to offset that way and I'll go 0 0.00 oh shoot 0 0.05 return I, I've got uh, all my surfaces um, that are going to become my egg crate intersecting by the, my first main surface and um, we're all set. So um, what we can do now is trim the our top our surfaces that are going to be our egg crate. So if I type in trim it ask me for the object that's going to um, be the cutting object. So I'll select my first surface, then it asks me for, to select, um, oh, I hit return, and then select the objects to trim. So if I come through here, there, um, you can see my all my surfaces have now been trimmed uh, where they intersect with that first surface I um, did. So what I'll do now is I'll move my surface out of the way to give me my egg crate. Um, and then I will just in case I make a mistake, I'll uh, copy this. So um, Apple C, return. Oh, wait, I don't need to return it. Um, Control V, and that um, pasted it. And, but then again, it pastes it right in place. So um, we'll move this, and I'll move it. Uh, up here with that just in case I make a mistake and I need to go back then I don't have to redo everything okay if I go to intersect and select objects select those hit return and now you'll see it's gonna go through and find all my intersections it's gonna take a second all right, so here it's it's finished finding the intersections. You can see over here that it's they're all selected now, and so um, they're all marked. Um, all right, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this again and paste it. And then uh, drag it over. And uh, now I have two of uh, these that are all intersected. One's going to become my X um, egg crate pieces, and the other's going to become my Y. I have doubles, so I'm going to delete the extras. Um, so here, this will be my X one. So I'm going to select all my Y ones and delete those. And I'm going to do the opposite over here and delete. Now, what I've got is I've got two sets of surfaces with that are grouped and then um, intersecting curves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those, ungroup, and delete these.